something touched on. Tonight, Rain and I stopped at Boyd Cemetery on our way home to see Ernest's tombstone so that Rain could take a picture of it and we could do some research. So what we found out was that he was born May 4th, 1890. He died May 17th, 1890. He was only 13 days old. So I guess without further ado, here we go. Ernest, are you here? Can we speak with Ernest? Ernest, are you here? All other spirits, you need to give room for Ernest to speak. Ernest, we just wanted to say hello to you. Ernest, can you tell us, can you tell us the exact date when you died? No. Is it because you were a baby? Can you tell us how you had died? Can you say that again? Are you looking for rest? Indeed. Would you like it? Would you like us to help you put you to rest? Goodbye. Goodbye, Ernest. Goodbye, Ernest. Bye. He said bye. Yeah. Did you hear that? I did. <laughs> I also heard breathe again. Yeah, I did too. But but I, don't, I don't feel that negative energy that I felt last time. I think calling off these other spirits and saying you've got to let Ernest come through. I don't know if that made a difference or not, but it seemed, I mean, there was other communication still coming through, but it seemed like Ernest was really trying to... On my arm, it felt like something just... Yeah, it, uh, it felt like something just, like, brushed the hair on my arm. Goodness.
saying hello. It could have been. You know, it was that we know a little more, right? And yeah, and then I got that chill again right after. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't I don't feel like Ernest is I mean, there's he's it's not a negative energy. No. Right? It didn't feel like it was a negative energy, but there felt like there was an energy in general. And you can feel it when there's an energy there. And sometimes that can be a scary thing to feel, mm-hmm. regardless of whether it can be something negative or not. And right now I don't I don't really feel anything in this room, but we're actually gonna also do a little a little cleansing. We we got some white sage that we're gonna put in this room just to kinda mask everything and, and make it feel safe and yeah. we will also be going to the cemetery uh to speak to Ernest one more time and hopefully no communication with Bob. Oh Bob can right. stay away. I don't like Bob. <laughs> Bob's scary. Bob can go away. But Bob doesn't uh, like me. Yeah mm-hmm. Bob Bob might be a whole other investigation. Who knows? If you guys want an investigation with Bob, maybe we'll look into it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if that was Bob that we saw the lurking behind that tombstone, I don't know. I don't know. Uh-huh. But uh, we definitely do have something special planned for you guys in August, though. And it is a very creepy spot. And it's local for us here. I can't give the name away. I don't really want to do it yet. But I'm just going to tell you guys right now that it is going to be terrifying. A little, a little dark secret. Was it last year, two years ago? Was it a woman? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, a woman came up to the area there. there there's, there's ruins there. I'm not going to tell you the name of it, but there is some ruins up there. And a woman did go up there. And she's not alive anymore, basically. So, um... It's, it's, it's a hot spot. And uh, we're excited to actually show you that. Show yeah. you that. It's crazy that we can stand in this room and actually talk with this and feel okay after an EVP session. But the light's still off. But the light's still off. So, okay, guys, that's a good sign. All right. Keep you guys updated for sure. Back at Boyd Cemetery. Um, I'm going to try to finish off this investigation here. So, here we go. Okay, we're heading back, guys. Hopefully this light helps a little bit more this time. <laughs> because I still can't see anything because I'm blinded in the dark. Yeah. Which makes this even scarier for me. Orange, <laughs> not so much fun in the but look at that huge tune stone right there. Yeah, that's a tiny one, yeah. Coming to say hello. Final time. Okay, Jen. Alright. Guess we're gonna do this thing here. Hi, Ernest. Told you we were gonna come back. Hi, Ernest. How are you? We, uh, we know a little tiny bit about your history, and, uh, we wanted to give our condolences is to our understanding that you've only lived for 13 days. If there's any other spirits trying to, uh, talk right now, you're, you're gonna have to let us have room here to talk with Ernest, okay? Ernest, if you if you feel at all ashamed because your grave is is away from everybody else's, you shouldn't. Ernest, I think your grave is is away 
Because you're supposed to be remembered. You're supposed to be noticed, okay? And if I heard something say leave, and if Bob, if that's you, you have to, you have to leave us. We're not here for you. We're here for Ernest. And Ernest, we, we would like to help you. If there's any way that we can possibly help you, we've brought some white sage. And if you would like to pass on any message to us before we burn this sage, if there's anything that you want to tell anybody, please let us know, okay? You can say anything you want, or just if there's any goodbyes that you want to say. I also see that they put your mother's to, uh, name on your tombstone. Were you were you close with your mother? Do you remember? I also know from my research that she's also buried here, not in the same spot. We only want we only want to bring you peace, Ernest. Yes, and that, that's why we're here. Okay, we're going to burn the sage for you, okay? You can continue talking to us, Ernest, if there's any messages that you want to relay to anybody. Okay? And I hope this helps you to pass on. Yes, if you, if you need help passing on... Let this be your guiding light, okay? Yeah, I have a light. We're here to help you. This is for you, Ernest. Ernest. Any other spirits? Remember, you cannot be around right now. You are not allowed. We are here in contact with Ernest to help set his soul free. I truly hope this helps to bring you peace, Ernest. If, if there is a light for you to go to, Ernest... Let this guide you to it. You've, you've been around for a very long time. And if you're tired, you can rest. Time to rest. Yes, it's time to rest. Okay. Ernest, we're about to head out now, okay?